What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the Nintendo Switch, a console I'm actually really excited about, and the Nintendo 3DS and how these two lines may be crossed. The Nintendo Switch is a handheld console hybrid and the 3DS is Nintendo's flagship dedicated handheld with over 80 million sold. So is the Nintendo Switch going to usurp some of that fan base and some of that mind share of the 3DS. It could quite possibly happen that way and I'm thinking that Nintendo probably doesn't want it to happen because Nintendo's already stated that the Nintendo Switch is not a successor to the 3DS or the Wii U but I'll drop a link in the description. Nintendo's upcoming console, which was first dubbed as NX and now officially called Switch, is arriving in March of 2017. While it is revealed that it will be a hybrid between a console and a handheld, the Nintendo 3DS is still in a possible risk of less exposure. An interview with Famitsu revealed that despite the Nintendo Switch using cartridges like the Nintendo 3DS, it will still not play games from it or from the Wii U. This may simply mean that the market between the two devices are still different. Potential profit from the Nintendo Switch may not exactly reflect or affect the Nintendo 3DS's already steady sales. However, it may affect it in a different way that may not necessarily be immediate. While the Nintendo Switch's main competition will be the PlayStation 4 Pro and the Xbox One Scorpio, it should be taken note that it is also a portable handheld device which could provide the exact same experience with the Nintendo 3DS with tons of extra bells and whistles. From the developer's point of view, more freedom can be obtained from creating a game for the Nintendo Switch, though it may take a wee bit more time. Still with an investment of such, the handheld gaming experience could greatly be improved so much that it could surpass what the PlayStation Vita has to offer. In an interview, the company made the clarification that the Switch is by no means not a direct successor to either the Wii U or the 3DS. While there are unconformed reports from a source from Reddit regarding a separate 3DS successor, the Switch may still be regarded as a quick and immediate fix, especially with the vastly expanded features. Just as the initial plan, the Nintendo Switch is scheduled to be released in March of 2017 and most likely fans won't be getting any other official announcements until 2017 as reported by IGN. I don't know guys, you know I love my 3DS, honestly I haven't played it in a while, I got the 3DS XL, you know I got Monster Hunter, I got some nice games in there, uh, but I just haven't had an opportunity to play it lately. And I'm thinking if this console is what I think it's going to be, console quality games on the go, it is going to eat up some of that mind share of the 3DS. I mean, why do people buy 3DSs? They buy them for games like Pokemon, Monster Hunter. These kind of games are really, really big on Nintendo's consoles. So if you saw a Monster Hunter or a nice new Pokemon game on the NX and you can take it on the go and you can play it wherever you go, yeah, people are going to choose that over the 3DS no matter what. Nintendo can try to say this thing is not the successor to the Wii U. It's not the successor to the 3DS. But from what we've seen, it does pretty much the same thing both of them do. It has that tablet design of the Wii U, it has graphics that are superior to the Wii U, and it's portable like the 3DS, and of course the libraries are all going to go on this thing. So, I don't know if Nintendo's planning to actually have a 3DS successor, because if that's the case, they're going to have two handhelds on the, on the market at one time, and they're both going to be competing with one another. To me, that's not the smartest thing they, that they can do. This is what they need to do. They have the Nintendo Switch. This thing plays games on the go flawlessly. This thing also is a great home system. They can just have developers make games. Like if you want a portable game, you can make an awesome portable on the Switch. If you want to make a great game that's made for TV, make make that game for the Switch and people can decide how they want to play it. But all those great games that people love of, of Nintendo's franchises, Pokemon, Monster Hunter, I wonder if we're going to see a new Bayonetta, Smash Bros, all these games are going to be on the Switch. And yeah, it's going to eat up some of that 3DS uh, mind share. It's just, it's inevitable. I mean, once March hits, nobody's going to buy any more Wii U games. And more than likely, people who are really big into the handheld gaming ecosystem are going to gravitate directly to the Switch. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think that the Switch is going to be in direct competition with the 3DS? Do you think the rumors are true that Nintendo could be working on a 3DS successor. To me, that would be a very, very crazy decision to make because they'd actually have two handhelds in the market at the same time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and visit www.beastlygamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.